When working in 3ds Max to create 3D renderings, there are two main categories of lights to choose from, standard lights and photometric lights. Standard lights consist of free and target lights, as well as the skylight and the mental ray specific lights. The photometric lights contain lights that function using a physically accurate lighting model. There are both free and target photometric lights as well. There is also a sky portal that works with mental ray and eye ray. Standard lights have been available in 3ds Max from its inception. These lights are not physically accurate, which means that the light emitted does not pay attention to real-world light properties. We will discuss lighting falloff later in this chapter. Standard lights provide three different types of fixture styles. The spotlight is a cone of light that works like a real-world adjustable pin spot. You can control the cone angle and the cone falloff, giving you the flexibility to create sharp or soft spots for scene lighting. The second option is the directional style. Directional lights project light and shadows in a straight line from the light source. This makes them ideal for simulating the effect of direct sunlight. Like the spotlight, the area of the directional light can be limited, allowing you to create broad areas of light or a smaller circular or rectangular area of light, like sunlight through a window. The Omni style is a point in space that emits light in all directions. This type of light can be used to represent a standard light bulb. Standard lights use a simplified light model and do not work like real world lights. This model does provide some artistic flexibility because it allows for user definable light decay values. Decay is a function of the formula used to decrease the brightness of a light the farther away from the source you get. The first option is none. This means that the light will be as bright at the light source as it is at any distance away from it. The second option, inverse, is a linear decay formula. The inverse decay causes the light to get darker using a linear curve so at twice the distance, it is half as bright. The third type of decay is inverse square. Inverse square decay uses a more physically accurate formula to determine the rate of light falloff. Using inverse square, the brightness of the light at twice the distance is one-fourth the brightness. Another reason these lights are so flexible is because you can define the decay start value. This allows you to make an artistic judgment call and set the light to work the way you want it to. Remember, standard lights are not physically accurate. So if you are trying to simulate real world lighting, these may not be the lights you want to start with. When it comes to the color of standard lights, the color is based on a non-physical value. In order to set the color of the light, you need to set an RGB color value. This can be any color you want. Keep in mind, however, that you are sort of faking the color of the light. This can be effectively used to either simulate real lights or give you the artistic freedom to make a light that works the way you want it to. Just like standard lights, photometric lights come in a variety of light types. The first Photometric Web is a unique and flexible light type that allows you to use photometric IES data files. These files define not only the light, but also how the light is emitted from a light fixture. You can use these files to shape the light of both the source object and the pattern of light emitted from it. The spotlight works the same as the standard spotlight allowing you to simulate a variable pin spot. The uniform diffuse light works like a surface mounted light bulb that shines light in a 180 degree hemisphere from the source. The uniform spherical style is ideal for use as a regular light bulb. 
It is a point in space that emits light in all directions. One important thing to keep in mind when using photometric lights is that they are based on a physically accurate lighting model. That means from the point of the light source, the light uses the inverse square law to determine the decay of the light. There is no decay start value. Another advantage to using photometric lights is the ability to use photometric web or IES data files. These files are essentially a series of numbers that indicate the brightness of a light at a specific direction from the source. Using these files allows you to obtain a highly realistic representation of not only a light, but also the pattern and intensity of the light emitted from a light fixture. The color of photometric lights can be adjusted in several ways. The most important element to understand is that the color of the light is based on real-world physical values. Photometric lights use the Kelvin temperature scale. This scale ranges from deep red-orange at about 1,800 degrees Kelvin to a bluish hue at 12,000 degrees Kelvin. Using this scale, a warm light bulb may be in the range of 3,500 degrees and daylight will be at about 6,600 degrees. If you need to color a light, you can add a filter color. The filter color is an RGB color value that allows you to change the light to any color you need. You can think of this as applying a real piece of gel to a light in order to change the color, providing an added artistic freedom. Besides the decay value of a light, you are able to use the attenuation feature to make changes to how far the light travels in a scene. Near attenuation is a feature that is only available in standard lights. This provides a way to have a standard light start emitting light beginning at a certain distance away from the light and not at the source. There's a start and an end value for the near attenuation giving you the ability to change the distance and how gradually the light starts emitting. Far attenuation, on the other hand, provides a method for dimming the light at a distance. It allows you to cut the decay manually and override the decay settings for the light. This function is available for both standard and photometric lights and allows you to be more creative in how you light your scene.